Welcome to the last in a series on getting cozy with the Pixel Brush Studio. Today we're going to look at the Subbrush tab. Unlike the uh, Texture tab, which lets you add additional nozzles, the Subbrush is actually an additional brush on top of your initial shape if you're creating a uh, intensity brush or if you're using a round brush. So we import it just like we do any other file, but once we do, we can double click on the preview and bring up a sub brush editor. So it works just like the main editor, except this is only adjusting the sub brush. You can see on the main editor that there are two checkboxes for syncing the size and syncing the spacing of the sub brush with the main brush nozzle. And if you uncheck those, then you can actually uh, re-space and resize. Notice that right now with those un uh, still checked, the spacing slider is grayed out. I can't access it but all the other uh, jitters and sliders I can access. The drawing tab to the right of the subbrushes has two options, either behind current nozzle or um, you can do it at the end of the stroke. Behind current nozzle will apply the subbrush while you're drawing and after, at the end of stroke will apply it once you have stopped drawing. To illustrate that, here's another brush and there's the brush nozzle and I've added a sub brush that's basically a bunch of circles and I've set the blend mode to erase so that this, the uh, sub brush will actually erase out of the main uh, brush nozzle and I've set it first to behind current nozzle. If I start to paint you'll notice those white circles show up but I can paint over them by just crossing over with my mouse or brush but if I switch it to at end of stroke um, it will not show those dots until I've completely finished and let go of my mouse button. And once I have, all the circles appear erased out of the main brush. The other blending mode option is blend instead of erase. And I have this set at, at end of stroke with blend and I've added in my subbrush. So when I let go, you'll see there's a delay and then it shows those kind of little dots on the sides of the, of the brush. I haven't put to the test how many sub brushes you can add, but here you can add a, a round brush on top of a bitmap brush and uh, do all the same features. Each sub brush can uh, be adjusted using its own sub brush editor palette just by double clicking on the uh, preview. And again, I'm just going to space out uh, that round brush, come like, like a particle effect. I hope you learned something new in this series. If you did, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Hop in there, start creating your own brushes, and we'll catch you next time.